Hi and welcome to my tutorial for launching TechnoParrot within LaunchBox. To start, download TechnoParrot, which the latest version is 1.0.0.0.122. We have it installed in a folder in our emulator folders. Right click on the Parrot UI XCE and click Run as Administrator. And this uh, little notification will pop up. Click OK. Do you want to add a new game? Yes. Right, so for the purpose of this tutorial, we'll be um, setting up Namco ES3, all the other platforms Ring Edge, Ring Wide, and um, Sega Limburg. Same process, exactly the same. So here we go, Namco ES3, which is Mario Kart DX. Click on the Add Game. Game Settings. I'll be using a 360 controller, so I'll have input checked. I don't want it windowed, so uncheck that. And the location of the EXE which is what we're already at for this game the exe is mk underscore agp3 underscore final exe save settings ok back controller setup um, controller start wheel access push left or right on your analog controller gas right trigger brake left trigger item A menu up on the d-pad down on the d-pad enter switch X Mario button B save settings ok back launch game just make sure everything's working may take a while so I'm going to exit out as soon as the game loads there we go there's a game launching through Techno Parrot escape that to exit and then into launch box we'll close this down there Yes. Um, launch box. To launch box. To tools. Import. ROM files. Next. Add files. Go into your games directory. Techno Parrot. These are all the files of the games, but if you import all these, you'll get every single file of what's in the folders. So what I do is make a little blank text file with the name of the game. In this case, Mario Kart GPDX. Double click on that. Next. This is where we uh, create the platform. ES3 scrape as leap out empty next choose an emulator um, so we don't have techno parrot in here as of yet so add emulator name emulator application path which is Emulators, Techno Parrot latest version, Techno Parrot UI, EXE, default command line parameters, which is dash dash profile 
equals associate, associated associated platforms. ES3. We do this for all the ring edge, ring wide, and Limburg as well as an Amco. Default command line parameters, which is dash dash pro file equals okay. Next. Use files in the current locations unless you want to move them, of course. Search, just leave that to game, uh, game information from Launchbox Games Database. Click Next. Leave that all checked or unchecked, it's entirely up to you. Next. Same again, Next. And again. So I'm only importing Mario Kart at the moment. Finish. That launch box do its thing. for that let's go back into detecting pirate folder and this is how you get the games to launch in launch box instead of bringing up the UI you need which I'll show you now one game imported successfully so we've gone to Namco S3 see Mario Kart GP DX. If I was to double click that now, it would just load up Techno Parrot to show you. Give me this loading screen. Alright, there's a new update available. Update. There we go, it's just um, doing that has just booted into the Technoparrot UI, so we'll close that. Yes. Now this is what you have to do with all the games, is edit the actual game. So go into the game, edit, go to emulation, there's your emulator, use custom command line parameters. This is where you type dash dash pro file equals and go back to the user profiles using that name followed by the dot XML. Copy all that. Copy. You might not have XML showing because I have so all folders and file extensions. Go into that, click back onto your launch box, paste that in there, and that goes for each and every game. You need that uh, name of the XML followed by the dot XML. Click OK. Now, when we double click, it should load into the game. There we go. I haven't quite figured out how these um, loading screens work on launch box yet because I use Rocket Launcher, which I'll also do a tutorial on how to set that up with Techno Pirate. And there we go, there you have it. Game is loading from launch box. 
and uh, that is it for this tutorial hope you guys enjoyed please like comment and subscribe for more video tutorials thank you very much goodbye